Hey guys, you're back with Juzzy Evo X and today we're looking at a brand new modification for the Evo 10 in preparation for a test and tune meet that's upcoming. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain out this weekend. Just a quick video for now. I have researched online about weight savings for the Evo 10 and in particular I've looked at the weights of the front seats. Uh, research suggests that the front seats are 48 and 42 kilograms respectively so by removing those seats and rails uh, there's some significant weight savings to be made there. Um, I was browsing on the website of carbonetics.com.au which I'll leave a link for in the description. I've purchased previously the carbon fibre boot that was on my car and um, it fit really well um, and I was so impressed with their service and their product that this time I decided to buy a seat through them. So normally I do my purchases through AK Racing but in this uh, instance uh, Alan mentioned to me that at this time they're not doing seats so I've got in contact with um, Carbonetics and reached out to Simeon who has uh, uh, looked after me, given me a competitive price on uh, this seat and some power rails. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, unpackage of this now to show you what I've got and just have a brief discussion. Okay, so here is the power rails uh, box just simply cut open. So basically, if you have the Evo 10, I've got no knowledge of the rally art or the... Um, and a Lancer, sorry, but uh, if you've got an Evo 10, uh, at least, the OEM rails are actually uh, bolted to the OEM Recaros, and so therefore, um, if you want to use the rails with some other sort of seat, you've actually got to drill that bolt out, um, a bolt that's actually uh, incorporated uh, with the seat mount and the rails. So, um, a, quite a reasonable... Um, alternative is to use power rails. So power rails um, uh, basically uh, are designed uh, with OEM fitment. Uh, this is obviously is the Evo X version, but there are sliding rails. So you, you get the um, adjustable slider like you do on the OEM rails, um, but they allow you to actually use a bottom mount uh, seat, which is what the uh, the Sparco seat is here, or alternatively they come with um, some adjustable um, side mount rails as well so that you can adjust the rake, um, which is essentially just a forward and, and, and backward sort of incline um, of the seat um, if you have a fixed bucket seat and you aren't able to actually adjust the incline that way. So, these are probably about three mil thick I'd say, two to three mil thick. Um, they feel fairly decent. Um, when I spoke to uh, the guys at Carbonetics, they uh, recommended that I could just mount this seat directly to the um, sliding rails. Um, I'm 170 centimetres tall, so not too short, not too tall. But I don't know how I would go sort of sitting in, in a, a seat that's sort of so low without having any sort of height to it. Um, so I will do a, uh, a weighing of the seat and the rails at the end of this video to give you guys an idea of exactly um, how much that, that weighs. Um, so yeah, in the box it comes with... Um, some fasteners, the uh, mount itself, um, so if you're familiar, these are um, Evo X, if I just turn that over, so if you can imagine you're looking at the front of a seat this way, um, yeah you've got your mounts to go into the stock location of uh, Evo X chassis. And then here are the bolt holes that you can either um, fit an assortment of seats depending on their width. Um, this is a Type C rail, so uh, the Type C uh, is 
a low rail and as you can see here CT M10, M10 3R Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10 um, and this one's for the driver's side so they are passenger or driver specific okay so here is the uh, OEM Sparco bag the packaging bag off and what did I get well the boys have thrown in a carbonetic decal Oh, there's actually a free wallet in there. Thanks, guys. And some documentation that accompanies, um, yeah, the Sparco seat. So this is the Sparco Pro 2000. It's the QRT model, so it is a lightweight seat, um, new for the 2020-21 um, year. It is listed as being 8 kilograms in weight, um, but the boys actually measured it at their shop as being 7.12 kilograms. So it's a fixed bucket seat. Might come around this side. So hopefully that's a bit better to see. So it's a, it's a uh, yeah, 7.12 kilogram seat. And this one's actually for a, for a person that is um, 34 inches in waist maximum. Um, Spark, of course, makes a variety of seats that you can use depending on your waist, but these are detachable, so I'm 33 to 34 inches, so I'll probably um, have it like this. I won't actually need that padding. Okay, so that is actually, uh, yeah, removable for cleaning. Not that I think that I would need to clean it very often because it's not going to be a daily solution for the car. So basically I'm looking to take out 100 kilos of weight from the front seats of my car and then put in this 7 kilo seat and uh, we'll figure out how much these rails weigh now as well and uh, I'll report back. So I've just done a um, quick uh, weight just on using my own home scales. Obviously they're nothing professional but um, it's what I weigh everything I've got at home. So the seat actually weighed for me at 8.7 kilograms and on um, their website, Sparco site, it lists the seat as eight kilograms, um, so that's that's pretty much spot on. And the rails actually come in at 1.4 kilograms, so we're looking at around about just over 10 um, kilos for the combination. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I'll take some photos and some video footage once I've got her in the car. Um, in a few days' time, there's supposed to be a test and tune meet, but it's been heavily raining for the last week lots of flash flooding in our area so it looks like it may not go ahead but it will come soon enough hope you've enjoyed this video guys if you like it please like comment and subscribe please follow me on instagram on juzzy evo x and youtube thanks very much see you next time